You mean to tell me you can play NES, Super NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Sega Master System, and Game Gear on an iPhone, all with one emulator, no jailbreaks, and non-revocable? Yep. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. I'm going to teach you how to save the ROMs on your iPhone or iPad and where to put them, where to get the emulator, and how to get everything working together. And it all starts right now. I've oriented this iPhone XS Max in portrait mode because I believe it will most accurately represent holding a retro game handheld like a Game Boy. There are several ways that you can put games into the emulator. The first one I want to show you is how to natively download a ROM onto your iPhone and where to put it. In this example, I'm going to download Super Mario Bros. 3 for the NES. And they will need to be unzipped ROMs, so as you can see at the first top entry here, I'm going to download Super Mario Bros. 3 in .NES format. When you tap on the ROM, you'll get the option to download. If you have iCloud Drive, the most likely place it will immediately download it will be on your iCloud Drive. And if you want to move it over to your local device, I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Once you have a ROM downloaded, you can transition over to this website. EclipseEMU.me forward slash play. I've got it linked for you in the description below. This emulator is special because it doesn't install anything on your iPhone and runs completely online, so it's completely independent of the App Store. Tap on Setup Eclipse to get started. You can choose to either maintain the native aspect ratio of the game and show the virtual controls, or stretch the screen. In this case, I'm going to use it in portrait mode, and I want to show you where the actual virtual controls are on screen. So the next thing that you get is the option to change the skin for the emulator. You can download any of these different skins that you want, but in this instance, I'm just going to stick with the original skin, which is the red one at the top. So just scroll down and tap on continue. You'll get a disclaimer. You can read it if you want, or just scroll down to the bottom and tap to continue. It is worth noting, however, that they do not collect any of your personally identifying information at the Eclipse website. At this point, the initial setup is complete. So scroll down to the bottom and tap on Close Setup to continue. This is the main interface screen for the Eclipse emulator. To get the ROM that you just downloaded, load it up into the emulator. Tap on the plus button in the top right corner. You're going to be presented with a number of choices. The ones we're going to be concerned with here are Upload. So tap on Upload, and then it'll give you some choices for where you want to upload from. In this case, since we're using iOS and it's being demoed on an iPhone, tap on Browse. Right away from the files, here is the Super Mario Bros. 3 ROM that we downloaded. So just tap on it, and whammo! Instant Super Mario Bros. 3 on iOS. Now you can see why I oriented the phone in portrait mode for this video. It puts the screen at the top and then it puts the virtual controls at the bottom which is typically more comfortable for people using a phone for virtual controls especially large size phones. You can tap on the virtual controls at the bottom to select and start games, move your characters around, and use this exactly like you would use an NES gamepad. If you look in the center of the screen, you'll see the word NES. That means that when you loaded Super Mario Bros. 3, the emulator automatically recognized it as an NES ROM. But what if you want to load another type of ROM, or what if you want to load a ROM from a different source? Let me show you how that's done. Before you can load up a new game, you have to close and quit your existing game. There's a menu button in the bottom left corner of the screen. Tap it, and then tap on the red quit text then tap on OK to close the game. This takes you back to the main interface. From here, just like you did before to load up a game from your ROMs that are downloaded either on your iCloud Drive or your local files, tap on Plus. This time, tap on Sources. What you're going to see are a list of what are called repos or repositories. These are where a lot of hacks and homebrew ROMs and other great content are available for you to download right off the internet right into the emulator. So for this example, tap on the very first repo that you see, the featured one. This will give you a whole list of things, content, games, demos, homebrews, other things you'll be able to download and try out right in the emulator. 
Let's get Mother 3. Tap on the Add button to load it up. Then using the navigation at the top left, go all the way back with the arrow until you get back to the main interface for the emulator. And here you'll see it's loaded it into the library and when you tap on it, it'll download the ROM right into the emulator for you. So you don't have to go out to a third party site in order to get this content. It's available right from within the emulator, which is very cool. And if you look right in the center of the screen again, this time it says GBA for Game Boy Advance. Not only will the interface recognize and load the correct core for the emulation that you need for the ROM that you've loaded, it will adapt the interface as well. Two other features that add great value to this emulator are being able to put it on your home screen of your device and being able to take the ROMs out of the cloud and put them on your local device. Here's how that's done. Because the Eclipse emulator runs in a web browser, you can just save a link to it right on the home page of your device. So just tap on the forward, which is the square with the line on the top at the bottom center. Look right in the middle as you scroll down and what you'll see is Add to Home Page. So just tap on Add to Home Page. Right away you'll see that it assigns an image to the home screen icon and a description. And bam, it's right there on the home screen of your device. Now when you go to load it up in the future, you don't have to go through loading Safari and loading the web address and all those things. It will straight up just load it in for you. And to move the ROMs out of the cloud and onto your local device, go to the Files app on your device. From here, you should see the main browse screen. Tap on iCloud Drive. One of the first things you'll see when you go to iCloud Drive is you'll see a list of folders. From here, tap on the Downloads folder. There's that Super Mario Bros. 3 ROM. So tap and hold on it and you'll get a set of menu options. From here, tap on Copy. Then use the blue arrow in the top left corner to go all the way back to the Browse section. Then from here, click on On My Phone and you'll see the list of folders that exist on your local device. In this case, I want to make a new folder and call it NES so I'll know that those are NES ROMs. So tap the circle with the dots in the top right corner and select New Folder. From here, you can name the folder anything you want. In this case, I'm just going to name it NES. Once you have the folder name, tap on it to go into it. Then tap and hold in the center of the screen to pull up some menu options and tap on Paste. And there it is. It's loaded directly onto your local device now. You can go back to the cloud and delete it or leave it there as a backup. The emulated games in iOS don't have sound yet through the browser, but I know the developers are working hard to get that worked out as soon as possible. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on great original content as it comes to the channel. And check out this video here and also linked in the description and pinned comment below. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.